You were in a wheat field and spy a twister in the roiling, darkening sky. The wind swallows you up and is whipping your hair. You race through the field as fast as you can, then past the corn, and then sunflower fields, until you reach a white picket fence. You zoom along and reach the yellow farmhouse. You stampede to the basement, to the cozy, safe space you have created just for times like this. There are small rectangular windows near the ceiling. You look out, seeing the twister with people and things whirling by, like Dorothy in The Wizard of Oz. Who do you see? What do you see? Who's the wicked witch in your life? Who's your Auntie M? Who plays the part of the scarecrow, brains, tin man, heart, and lion, courage, from your life? Who's the great and powerful Wizard of Oz? And who's your Glinda the Good Witch? Oh, and don't forget Toto too. What other objects and places are whirling around in the mix? Imagine your life is a story, with everyone playing their character like acting roles. Who do you wish to fire from the cast? Do you want to replace them or just cut the role altogether? Imagine your life with the story you desire, along with the perfect cast. You look out the window, and the sun's shining. You venture out. Everything is shimmering and sparkling. The wind whirls around you, lifts you up, and sets you down in your new life story. But there's only you. Aha, you whisper. I have every character I need inside of me. The brains, the heart, the courage, the magic and goodwill. It's all within me. My home and story come from within me. I get to choose who's in my story and my life from here on out. Every character aspect I have the potential for from within me. My life emanates from the inside out and I am the great and powerful wizard after all. The disaster may strike. The truth of who we are carries us and our energy is unscathed, is eternal, as wizards can be. Breathe in, breathe out. All is well always, because we are eternal wizards and yodas playing parts as humans in this storybook world.